So maybe going into the COVID-19 pandemic, you thought, now you've got all this time to catch up on all those goals that you want to accomplish. And now here we are two to three months later, depending on where you were at when the lockdown started and your list is even longer than it was to begin with. So it really begs the question, are you a starter or a finisher? What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Find Your Flow channel. It's RJ here. And this is where we go after that peak state of flow, help you accomplish your dream goals and perform your best. And if you're new around here, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. And now let's get into today's video. Now, what's the difference between a starter and a finisher? And at the risk of sounding glib, I'm going to say it, a starter starts lots of things and a finisher finishes them. And I don't necessarily think that there's an inherent difference between starters and finishers. Starters tend to get, you know, somewhere between 50 and 75% of the way through their goals or ideas, and then just let them fizzle out. Whereas finishers see those goals all the way through to the end. And I don't think that starters necessarily have more ideas than finishers. It's just that discipline that takes an idea and gets it through to completion is really what makes the difference between a starter and a finisher. So if you identify as somebody who starts a lot of ideas but has a hard time getting through to completing them, what I want to share with you today is a framework that you can use in order to take those ideas through to completion. And the acronym I want you to remember is REAP. We can reap the ideas that we sow. So REAP stands for Resonate, Evaluate, Attainable, and then Pivot or Persevere. First up is Resonate. The big thing that I find with a lot of ideas be generating from starters is that maybe they're not necessarily ideas or things that resonate with you. So the first step is really ask yourself, does this idea resonate with you? It's totally fine to cross off ideas and eliminate them from what you want to accomplish if they don't resonate with you or if it's not something you truly have your heart set on. So that's the most important step and that's why deciding if it resonates with you is what you should start off with first. The second step is evaluate. Get the opinion of other people and ask yourself, ask them, do these goals align with your values and beliefs? So that's something that's important too. Not only does it resonate with you, but does it also align with your bigger mission? And is it something that other people can see you actually doing? That's going to be important for making sure this alignment works well, and that's gonna make it that much easier for you to want to see a goal through to completion. And then third is attainable. So you want to break down those ideas and those goals into more actionable steps. And this is where, you know, if you've got some big dream goal, you want to take it and chunk it down into things that you can achieve in a reasonable time frame. And this is where my 2020 vision course is very useful because that's where I take you through the whole process of looking at those dream goals and breaking them down into attainable steps, as well as the framework around everything you need in order to accomplish more of your dream goals. And finally, we have to pivot or persevere. We always know that there's going to be obstacles along the way to our goals. And so we've got to recognize this and prepare for it. And sometimes that means pivoting in the current circumstances. We've seen a lot of pivoting in the business world, as well as in sports and performance, because not all athletes are able to continue with their sports at this time. And so there has to be a level of the ability to pivot when the time is right or to persevere. And that's where grit comes in and having the fortitude and resilience to stick through the hardships so that you can handle that and get through and ultimately come out successful on the other side of those obstacles. So no matter what goal it is you're looking to accomplish, and especially if you identify as a starter, 
These are things that I want you to keep in mind because it's going to help you to have more of a framework to go along with so that on that journey, you're able to piece things together and actually get closer to accomplishing whatever it is that you've set out to do. And one more thing I wanna mention is it's always useful to find an accountability partner or somebody else that's trying to accomplish stuff. Maybe they are successful as a finisher and you can use their help to get you further along if you do find that you fizzle out and stop at some point with most of your ideas. Get them as an accountability partner. They can also help you with the evaluation of your ideas and also just be along for the journey to make sure that you see through to completion. So that's another good thing to keep in mind that I talked about in a past video. And so that's the REAP framework. Try it out and see how it helps you if you are stuck or you find that you don't see through enough of your ideas to completion. Put that into place and apply it, you know, write down the different steps and actually work it out on paper is going to help make a difference or talk it through with somebody and just prepare yourself for success in that way. And I hope that you liked this video. If you did hit the thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel. And of course, as always, until next time, dream on and find your flow.